everyone, this is Julia Doherty from Green Umbrella and today I want to tell you about a great new product, uh, I say new product, I've been using it for a while now, about six months or so, called Mail Butler and it's a great product that integrates with Mac Mail. So if you are a Mac Mail, then I'm just going to show you this product because I think it's personally absolutely brilliant and fantastic. Okay, so what does Mail Butler do? I'm just going to go through my list. So the first thing it does is it integrates with your notes facility and reminders. Um, so you can do follow-ups. To be honest with you, I haven't actually activated the follow-ups um, bit because I don't really use reminders. Uh, but you can sort of add reminders here and update and create tasks, which I think is quite a cool tool. Um, the second thing which I absolutely love is the snooze button. So say something comes into my inbox and you can see you know, I haven't really got that many emails in here. Um, but I don't want to read this one today. I want to perhaps read it tomorrow. Um, I can snooze it. I've got a little one here for three hours later on this evening, tomorrow morning. Or I can customise it. So I can just click on the 25th of November. Um, and that's what I do, I just click the button, press enter and that's it, gone. So actually I'm going to snooze that for say an hour's time and you'll see it disappear. And where has it gone? It's actually gone into a snooze folder here so I can get it back at any time that I wanted to. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you, which is the snooze button, uh, which is really good for getting things out of your inbox into a nice folder. And basically when it appears in an hour's time, that will appear back in my inbox with a little unread little dot here as well, which is great. So it's like a brand new email and will get my attention instantly. Um, second thing is tracking. So it does tracking for you as well. If I show you a sent item. Um, this is one from Mark. So I sent this over to him with regards to the um, social uh, snippet that we've done for this month. But you can see he, he opened it at five past uh, five past five on Friday, and I can show the details. Um, I'm not actually, I don't get too much information, but it's quite nice to know when things have been opened. So that's quite a cool task as well, uh, or cool feature. Um, the next thing that I do all the time is actually scheduling which I know you can do with Microsoft Outlook, um, but you can't really do it on Mac Mail unless you use a thing called Send Later. So if I'm going to write a new email, and I'll just put someone to Mark again. Uh, so I'll just go testing. And I've written whatever email it is. Uh, you've got a little button over here. That just sends it straight away, and then that sends it either tomorrow or you can customise it. So I'm just click the little calendar here and I can pick a date when I want to send it. And this works really well if you're a little bit like me and you're perhaps working in the evenings. But you don't want to educate your clients or your staff uh, you know, to email them in the evenings or let them know that you are doing that. So I always email in the evenings, but I schedule it for the following day, say, you know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So that tends to work quite well as well. The other thing I do like, actually, if I just email myself, uh, so if I just do that one, testing, is if I do go to send, before I do it, it says, are you sure? And you get 10 seconds, so you can undo the send. So if you think, oh God, I've done that to the wrong person, or I forgot to add that, you get 10 seconds to undo it. And that has actually saved me uh, a few times for boo-boos that I, I thought I'd done, but I hadn't done. Okay, so that's that one. The next thing is something else that's really cool. They actually only introduced this last week, and I love it. If I go to send myself an email again. Okay, you see down here, I've got some emojis, which are great. So you can have emojis if you're into emojis. I personally don't use emojis, but I do use GIFs. So if I just go, uh, so it's Friday. I've got that Friday feeling. Uh, you can use these animated GIFs. No idea what that is. Uh, let's have a look at Kermit. You see what I mean? So you can search for absolutely anything. I'm into giraffes. I've sent the giraffe ones a few times to people. Uh, if I click on there, you see the giraffe is chewing away. Uh, and then just to get rid of them, you just sit and simply delete. Okay, so that's the Giphy is actually built into the product, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, they have got animated like signatures and uh, you've got a little thing up here which is your icon you can go straight into it oops okay if I take that off and um, you can go into the settings so if I go into preferences these are your mail butler uh, settings and they've got these really good 
signatures uh, unlike you know the signatures that I have at the moment are actually designed by our designer so I, I don't need to do them but you've got um, signatures that you can actually use if we go into here they have like template designs um, and they've got loads of other ones as well I can't remember how to get those back now ah, okay white tie do you see what I mean you can pick from all these different signatures putting your logo in as well so if you haven't had a signature designed use Mel Butler and that's the one called bartender which is the default one that's on at the moment uh, and literally you just add your signature so okay so that's that one okay and the last one or well, there's two more things I wanted to show you the first one is um, unsubscribe now this I haven't got any to show you where I wanted to unsubscribe um, but basically if you um, subscribe to email marketing stuff rather than looking down to see where the unsubscribe button is uh, Mel Butler will put a, a, a blue line at the top and it just says unsubscribe and you just literally just click the button um, but I haven't got any actually in this particular in my emails at the moment but that's what happens um, so it just saves you a bit of time really you don't want that unsubscribe and it will just click the link at the top and that works great as well and the last thing I wanted to show you is um, actually sharing a quote so, so if I just highlight something within an email I've got another little button up here and I can share a quote via email so if someone said something I can just email that part of the email to somebody um, and I can even you know tweet it out so you're taking action I can just click for post and then tweet that out so whatever is in an email literally you just highlight it and you can forward that on to somebody and it literally just takes that snippet so I love it it's Mal Butler um, I've got a referral link below if you are interested and it just keeps my uh, my prices down uh, obviously for, from my point of view but if you are interested uh, check it out it's really really good I think I pay I don't know how much it is actually I'll have to have a look at the prices I'll put prices below uh, but thanks very much for listening all right take care Bye.